So you might be in a weird situation where the contact image is just not working on iOS 17. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing is making sure that you do actually have an image set up for your specific contact. Now, what this means is basically, is if you make your way over to your contact page just like this, you wanna go ahead and open up your specific contact or another contact if it's not working for somebody else's, and you wanna make sure an image is set up properly for their specific photo. So in this case, you can see I don't even have an image associated with this person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this edit button at the top right, and then you're going to come into this page. What you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure you add a specific phone number, add an email, whatever you can. But right here under add photo, you want to tap on add photo. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and make sure you have a photo associated with this person. On top of that, if that photo is no longer working or if it's not compatible, that can be another problem here. So what you're going to want to do here as well is to go through and pretty much just choose a different photo. Choose a different photo and that might end up fixing the problem for you. It's not a guarantee, but that's one other thing that might end up working for you. On top of that, if it's another contact, like say it's another, another person who you're you know, doing, you know, contacting, whatever, it's the same exact thing. Just go and change that photo and that might end up working. Now there may have been some glitches going around for iOS 17, especially the earlier versions of iOS 17. So if you haven't updated your phone in a while, Another thing you may want to try doing is updating your iPhone. So make your way over to your settings application, just like this. You then want to go ahead and scroll down until you see general. So tap on your general option right here, and then you want to go and tap on software update. So once you're in the software update panel, all you're going to want to do is pretty much just update your phone as you normally would. So update your iPhone, and that's another thing that may end up fixing the problem. You can also try restarting your iPhone, but those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button helps me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.